All right, let's learn material operators in Touch Designer by making this 3D animated rotating planet in Touch Designer. And this planet will have a bumpy texture just like a real planet. Let's get started. Go ahead and open the OP Create dialog by double clicking on the empty grid area. And in a minute, we're going to get to materials, but we're going to start out with SOP. So go to the SOP category. And from the SOPs category, we're just going to click on Sphere. So go ahead and click on Sphere and drop Sphere somewhere in the Touch Designer grid area. Now let's right click on the output area of that sphere by just right clicking on these two blue squares right here. So right click those two blue squares. Now we're going to go to the Comp category. And from Comp, let's just click on Geometry and just place that geometry somewhere to the right of the sphere. Now we're going to get this sphere to appear in the background of Touch Designer. So that's being rendered. So let's do that really quickly. Double click the empty grid area to open the OP Create dialog. And from the Comp category, go ahead and click on Camera and then drop Camera somewhere above the geometry you place. So now we have Sphere, Geo, and Cam. Now let's double click the empty grid area one more time. And this time from the Comp category, click on Light. So click on Light and drop that to the right of the camera. Now we have sphere, geo, camera, and light. Let's add one more operator to render this sphere. So double click the empty grid area to open the OP Create dialog, and then go to the top category. And then once you're in top, just go ahead and click on render. So click on render and drop render somewhere below light and to the right of geo. Now just click on that little blue circle in the bottom right corner of the render operator that says display, and that will display the sphere in the background of Touch Designer. So our sphere is being rendered, but it doesn't have any texture on the surface of the sphere. So let's make that happen right now with materials. So we're just going to add an operator or two right about here that is going to apply a texture or a surface that is going to be added to our geometry, and then that will be rendered. What we're going to do now is just get a texture file from Google Images to apply to our sphere. And I'm going to make our sphere look like the planet Mars. So I go to Google Images and just type in something like Mars texture and maybe even the word PNG. So at this point, I just grab a texture file. So just download any texture file, such as the ones you see here. Here's the texture file that I downloaded. So we're just going to drag and drop this texture file into Touch Designer. So just drag that image file into Touch Designer just like that and drop that. So here we have our texture image file dragged and dropped into Touch Designer. And what we need now is an operator to go between our image file and our geometry. So let's make that happen right now. Let's double click on the empty grid area to open the OP Create dialog. And then from that, let's just click on Material. So from the Material category, let's just click on Fong. There's Fong right there. Let's click on that and drop that just above our image texture file. So now in a vertical line, we have geometry, fong, and then our image file. What I'm going to do is click on our image file, hold down the mouse, drag that, and drop that onto our fong. So let's do that right now. I'm going to click on our image file, click down the mouse, hold down the mouse, drag that. And then once the border of that fong operator turns green, we know we can drop our image file onto that. So just drop your image file onto that fong now, and then just click on color map. Now you can see our image file has been applied to our fong. Now we just drop our fong onto our geometry. So let's go ahead and click on our fong, drag that, hover over geo until the border of geo is green, and then drop our fong onto our geometry. And now just click the button that says parm material, which is short for material parameter. So we're just going to drop the fong onto the material parameter of our geometry. And boom, there we go. So now our fong has been applied to our geometry. And now the color of our sphere is the color of Mars. So that's pretty cool. Let's go one step further and make it so that the sphere has an actual texture. So it's bumpy. So to make the surface of our sphere bumpy, let's go ahead and drag the image file and drop that onto our fong once again. So let's drag and drop that onto the fong. This time, let's click on Parm Normal Map, which stands for Normal Map Parameter. And then our sphere is mostly dark, so let's change that. All right, so we changed the normal map of our fong, but it's quite dark, so let's change that right now. So what we're going to do is make sure our fong is selected. We're going to look at the parameters for that, and we're going to change this emit parameter right here. So I'm just going to click on the word emit, hold down the mouse, and then move the mouse to the right until it's at about 0 0.5. 
Now when we zoom out, we see our planet is much brighter. Now let's really get our planet to look bumpy. So still with the Fong selected, let's look at the parameters for our Fong. And over here where it says enable height map, just go ahead and turn that switch on. So after we enable the height map, we just need to drag our image file onto the height map. So just click on your image file, drag that and drop that onto our Fong, and then click on height map. Now if we zoom out, we can see our planet looks a little bit bumpy, so we are on the right track. Now with our Fong selected, let's just change this parameter that says Displace Vertices. So let's go ahead and turn on that Displace Vertices parameter. So turn on that switch, and now you can see the edge of our planet is actually very bumpy. But you can see there's not a lot of detail in the bumpiness of the surface. So let's click on the sphere, and with that sphere selected, let's change the parameters of our sphere. So let's change to the Detail tab of our sphere parameters. And then let's change the number of rows and columns to 200. So I change the rows to 200 and we get a very spiky sphere. Let's change the columns to 200 and see what happens. So now we have an even spikier sphere. Let's go ahead and change one parameter on our Fong operator. So let's click on our Fong operator and look at the parameters for that. And in those parameters, let's just change this displace scale parameter down from one to about 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. Now you can see the surface of our planet is much less spiky. So just a quick recap, we dragged and dropped our texture image file into Touch Designer. We applied that to our Fong as the color map, and then we applied that Fong to our geometry as the normal map. And then we applied the Fong to our geometry as our material parameter. And then we did some additional things by dragging and dropping our image file onto the Fong and changing that and setting that image file as the normal map and the height map. Now let's get our planet to rotate. So I'm going to select the sphere operator and then in the parameters for our sphere operator, I'm going to make sure that I'm on the sphere tab. And then for the rotate parameter, I'm just going to change the Y value of that rotate parameter. So select that and then type in abs time, which is ABS in lowercase, and then time with the capital T, and then a period, and the word seconds, and then put times 10. So then just hit enter. So we have abs time with the capital T dot seconds times 10. Now when we zoom out, our planet is rotating. And by the way, if you see this yellow exclamation mark on the render operator, we can just click on that. And it says that our material is normal mapping, but the SOP does not have tangent attributes. We can add that using the attribute create SOP. So let's do that right now. Let's fix that yellow exclamation mark. What we're gonna do is just add an operator in between sphere and geo. So let's go ahead and hover over the line from sphere to geo, and then right click on that line connecting from sphere to geo, and click insert operator. And now just click on attribute create under SOPs, and place that attribute create somewhere between sphere and geo. Now that we have our attribute create operator, what we're going to do is click on that to select that and then look at the parameters for this attribute create operator. We're just going to turn on this parameter that says compute tangents. So just turn on that switch and now our yellow exclamation mark has gone away on our render operator. So this setup is the most useful way to use material operators in Touch Designer. So just a quick recap, we made a sphere. And then we connected our sphere to a geometry to prepare our sphere to be rendered. Then we added a camera and a light. The camera is observing our geometry. The light is shining light onto our geometry. And the render operator is taking all this stuff and rendering it. And last but not least, we dragged in an image texture file and then applied that to a Fong, which is our material operator. And then we applied that Fong to our geometry. So I hope you can use this setup to make some cool looking shapes with textures in Touch Designer. Keep in mind that the sphere is not the only shape you could make. You could add a grid or a rectangle. So have fun with this setup. Make some cool stuff and be creative.